This is the MJ Show with Jacob and Max. Our first topic is who is the best wide receiver in the NFL? I think the top wide receiver is Antonio Brown. I think it's DeAndre Hopkins because he's tall, he's fast, He's athletic and he can make amazing catches. And he he had to go through, I think it was four quarterbacks last season, and he's it still didn't stop him from putting up monstrous yards. But Antonio Brown, he can also make amazing catches, but way better catches than than DeAndre Hopkins. He has at least 125 catches each season but Antonio Brown for the past few years all he's been playing with is mostly Ben Roethlisberger it's the same QB it's this it's he throws it the same way he doesn't have to get used to new QBs but do, do you ever see people d- discussing although Beckham I, I mean DeAndre Hopkins and Antonio Brown you only see people discussing Antonio Brown and Odell Beckham Jr. because they're the top, the top two. No, no, no. Wide receivers. The Andre Hopkins is the number one wide receiver. I don't care if people talk about him or don't talk about him. He's the number one wide receiver. Let's see what the phone thinks. Call two one five three three six zero nine five nine. What's up, guys? This is Larry. City. Um, you know, I just wanted to give my feedback. I think you know Antonio Brown and Odell Beckham Jr. are two of the best receivers in the league. Um, so I want to say, if, you know, if I gave you those two receivers, you know, which one would you take? You know, obviously with OBJ, you have the athleticism, you have the crazy one-handed catches. Antonio Brown, you know, he's a vertical threat, also can run, you know, up the middle. So you know, who's better, Antonio Brown or Odell Beckham Jr.? Um. Antonio Brown is better than Odo Beckham Jr., but DeAndre Hopkins is better than both of them. But Antonio Brown is the clear winner. Now we're moving on to the ne- next topic. Which team has the best roster in the NFL? So if we look at the best roster, we need to look at uh, one, they need to have one linebacker, either a corner or safety, somebody on the defensive line, and then they need a decent QB and a wide receiver and a running back. So what team do you want to start off on? Well, I'm de- still debating over two teams, the Seattle Seahawks and, and the Steelers. So the Steelers, they have Ben Roethlisberger up front. They have Le'Veon Bell, and backing up Le'Veon Bell, they have D'Angelo Williams. They have Antonio Brown, Martavi, uh Whedon, they have Whedon, which is a great offense. If you look at their defense, can you name a corner besides William Gay? No? Yeah. Okay. Can you name anybody on the D-line? So they don't have as good as a defense. And if we need, what's the other team you said? The Seattle Seahawks. Now that I think about it, the Pittsburgh Steelers, I think, would win. But let's talk about the Seattle Seahawks. They they just have a good defense. Earl Thomas, Richard Sherman, they got everything. They got the QB, Russell Wilson. But they don't have Marshawn Lynch anymore. Yeah, that's sad. They have Doug Baldwin, who is a decent wide receiver. But let's go on to our next topic. Who is the best? Who is? Who will win a championship next in Philadelphia? I think it's the Flyers. They're the only team that has made it in the playoffs last year, and they put up a good fight against the best team in the. 